Hello everyone, today I'm going to be ordering takeout from my favorite Taiwanese restaurant in the area, which is Liang's Village. I am ordering the food from a special buy group, and the reason I'm doing that is because the location for pickup is much closer than Liang's Village is to my house. And the nice thing about it is some of the items are offered at a little bit of a discount, like one of the items is $4 off. I'm also going to be ordering a few items that I've never tried before, so let's head over there now to pick up our food. I just got back from picking up the food, so let's go ahead and dig in now. I got the kuroboda pork bun, the salted duck, and the hainan chicken rice. And because I spent over $70, they gave me a complimentary passion fruit green tea. The first thing I'm going to be trying is the kuroboda pork bun, and the outside feels very soft and fluffy and moist, and the inside meat looks very juicy. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. The outside of the bun is very fresh and moist and soft and fluffy and delicate and I love the inner juicy meat. I really taste a lot of green onion and ginger and I just love that flavor. This is a little bit on the salty side but other than that it's really delicious. Next I'm going to be trying their salted duck. The duck is just so tender and what I think makes it really tender is because they marinate it two days before so you really taste all the marinade soaking into there and it's extremely moist and delicate. This is just so delicious. One of my all time favorites from Liang's village is their Hainan chicken rice and this is just chicken with a little bit of rice and it's topped with a green onion and ginger sauce. So let's go ahead and try this. Wow, the chicken might even be better than a duck. It is very juicy and even more tender than a duck. And I love the green onion and ginger sauce that goes on top of it. It really enhances the chicken flavor. That is very delicious. The rice is very delicious as well. It is very soft and chewy and has the perfect texture. It is cooked perfectly and I love the flavoring on there too. It's flavored separately from the chicken and I taste a little bit of garlic and some chicken fat which really makes the rice taste good. And now let's go ahead and try their passion fruit green tea. Wow, that is delicious. The tea is extremely smooth and it tastes really high quality. And I also taste a little bit of natural passion fruit juice and it's not overly sweet. It's actually a bit on the bitter side, but it is very refreshing, especially to go with this food. For dessert, I'm going to be trying their caramelized brown sugar milk tea as well as their pot de cream. Let's go ahead and start by trying this milk tea. This feels very cold and refreshing. Wow, I love the taste of their milk tea. It is very creamy and I definitely taste the brown sugar. It's nice and caramely and it's not overly sweet. This is amazing. You will really like this if you like milky, creamy milk teas. This is just the best. I'm really excited to try this pot de cream. I see that there's a little bit of vanilla bean on top and some sort of dark and rich syrup on the bottom. So I think this is going to be very decadent and delicious. Wow, this pot de cream is so delicious. It is incredibly smooth and rich and creamy and I love the bottom. It tastes nice and bitter and it really reminds me of a creme brulee top. Honestly, this whole thing is like a really delicious creme brulee without the crunch. This is delicious. Overall, I was really pleased with all the food I got from Liang's Village. My favorite for sure is still the Hainan chicken rice. I just love the flavor of the rice and it goes great with their super tender chicken. It is a must try. You guys definitely have to try out Liang's Village. All the food I tried today was very delicious. And like I said, I've had food in the past from Liang's Village as well, and it has all been amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did to give it a like, and also make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.